Ugh, I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of bait and switch at this trade show. I noticed there's a whole section devoted to mycology, which is the field of studying mushrooms, I guess. But as far as I know, psilocybin isn't legal in any of the states. Or maybe it is, I'm not sure. I guess I'll find out at this show. It's called the Champs Trade Show. And I think it's like the biggest industry trade show, or it might just be like a smoke shop industry trade show, because it's not just products for sale. Obviously there's also mushrooms, mushrooms, and you know, stuff that you would find at your typical head shop, like, you know, glass pipes, 3D tapestries, funky clothes, and Kratom. Wow, this trade show is so much bigger than I remember it. I think I worked this show back in like 2015 and it was a fraction of this size. This just goes to show how much money is in the industry. No kidding. Now that marijuana has been legalized either recreationally or medically in 37 states, the weed industry really is booming. And the Champs trade show is basically a one-stop shop for counterculture fun. Walking around the convention center, I felt like the proverbial kid in a candy store. There was CBD and resin and kratom and gummies. There were detox kits and lighters and rolling papers and vaporizers. Oh my God, Mike Tyson has his own vaporizer line. <laughs> And of course, there was every kind of pipe you could imagine, and some you probably wouldn't believe existed until you saw them. There were even guys blowing glass pipes live on site. I guess a lot of skill goes into making a quality glass piece, and it was pretty cool to watch. And then of course, there were the babes. Lots and lots of scantily clad Babes. Come on, come on, come on. How's it going? It's going great. You look fantastic. You look incredible. Well, we're like the same but different. I was going to say, you, you look very on brand. Sisters from another mister. <laughs> Absolutely. And there were an astonishing number of mushroom-related companies at the show. So even though psilocybin is still illegal most places, I learned that it's already been decriminalized in Colorado and Oregon, and in a surprising number of cities, including Washington, D.C. How about that? I'm sure legalization isn't far off. And speaking of legalization, if you grew up back in the 1960s when you had to sneak a puff in the bushes or behind the bleachers and just possessing a joint could get you jail time, it must be mind-blowing that is legal one way or another in 37 states and even in Washington, D.C. Of course, that means there are still 13 states that do not allow the consumption of but thanks to the 2018 Farm Bill passed by Congress, which legalized agricultural production of hemp, there's a loophole. Even though hemp has far lower levels of THC, which is the psychoactive compound that gets you high, than regular it does still have a small amount, and some industrious genius figured out a way to legally distill something called Delta-9 THC from hemp plants. And now, Anyone can get a buzz legally, no matter where you live. So of course, hemp-derived Delta 9 products were everywhere at the trade show. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, after walking around the convention center for a few hours with all the bright lights, loud music, and sensory overload, I was absolutely wiped out. I couldn't wait to go back in the bathroom and take off that friggin' headdress and head back home to the peace and quiet of the desert. Wiped out. That trade show annihilated me. I was so tired when I got back from Vegas last night. I just wanted to pass out. But if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I have a hard time sleeping and it doesn't seem to matter how tired I am. I mean, one time I even hiked the entire Grand Canyon, all the way from the top to the bottom and back to the top in one day. And I still had a hard time sleeping. Fortunately, <laughs> This time I had something to help me, and it's actually the reason I went to the trade show in the first place. I took one of these sleep aid gummy candies that are made with melatonin, CBN, and Delta 9 THC, and I zonked out. I slept for about eight hours, and it was good sleep. <sighs> but I didn't go all the way to Vegas and walk around a trade show for four hours just to get a free packet of gummies. No, I went because I'm launching my own line of gummies. Okay, you know how I was talking about Congress passing the farm bill in 2018 that legalized the production of hemp-derived Delta 9 THC products? Well, uh, a couple weeks ago, I got a call from uh, an Elvis impersonator I used to know who now works for one of the biggest gummy manufacturers in the entire country. And he asked me if I'd like to have my own line. So that's the reason I went to the trade show. I'm launching my very own line of Wonder Hussy gummies that anyone can enjoy no matter where you live because they're made with federally legal hemp-derived Delta 9 THC. Don't say Congress never did anything for you. All joking aside though, it makes sense that the government would legalize the production of hemp because many of the founding fathers actually grew hemp, okay? Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, they both grew hemp on their plantations, so it's about time the rest of us can do it, or, well, some of us can do it, and the rest of us can just enjoy the byproducts. Now, if you're a regular marijuana user, you might wonder if hemp-derived Delta 9 THC is as potent as regular THC? Well, I'm here to tell you, I tried both products, and obviously the sleep aid zonked me out for eight hours last night, so that was fine. And then the, the other gummies, I took one, uh, I took one the other night because we had a party at the compound. So I just took a very small dose, five milligrams, one gummy. Five milligrams is a very mild dose because I wanted to see what it would do. And it was, it was awesome, man. It came on very gently, softly, like a soft spring breeze or a warm caress. And well, I spent the whole evening just sort of gently buzz, sitting around the campfire with my friends, had a wonderful night. And the best part was I slept well. And then I woke up sober, clear headed, and with no nasty side effects like you would get with drinking alcohol, like a hangover. Now, this is just a prototype, but if you go to the website they set up for me, wonderhussygummies.com, you'll see that uh, I have both kinds, the sleep aid and the just for fun, relaxing after a long day of off-roading or a long day of watching YouTube videos, whatever the case may be, uh, I'll have both kinds in little baggies that are printed with my little logo there. My cute little logo of me floating in a hot spring with gummies on my lap. I don't know, I just thought it would be a fun business opportunity because it is a product that I believe in and that I personally use. I mean, I'm lucky to live in a state where marijuana is legal, but it's funny when I first started having insomnia and I went to the doctor, he was willing to prescribe me every manner of horrible benzodiazepine with a laundry list of side effects. But the answer to my problem right here all along in a plant that's been grown in the United States since the days of the American Revolution. So if you want to try my gummies, head on over to wonderhussygummies.com. Everything is lab tested, non-GMO, vegan, and totally organic, so you'll know you're getting a quality product. And if you use the coupon code WONDERHUSSY, you'll save 10%. But wait, there's more! If you order at least $50 worth of product, you get free shipping! 
How about that? Oh, as much as I hate to do it, I think I better get out of bed because even though I don't have to go to Vegas today, and even though I don't have to go to any trade shows today, I still have an empire to run from right here in Death Valley. It's kind of like what I was saying earlier. You've come a long way, baby.